Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to check your radio and see if your screen's not coming on because it's a bad screen, an HMI, a cluster, or another fault in your most bus on a Chevrolet Silverado Tahoe Suburban or GMC Yukon and Sierra. Alright, so if your screen isn't coming on in your truck or you got backup camera, no audio, your door chimes aren't making any noise, it's probably more than likely going to be a radio concern. If you have door chime and you have radio, it's more than likely going to be an HMI module, especially if you have the backup camera. But one way to test this and make sure, and this is only if it's a radio issue, is you can go to your cluster right here and you can change this setting to go to your audio. And if you go to audio and it says audio off, I'm not sure that y'all can see that. Let's see. right here it says audio off and like i said you're not getting door chime or anything it's more than likely a radio issue for the most bus um anyway let's go ahead and remove the radio from this vehicle i already know it's not an hmi the customer replaced the hmi thinking it was an hmi problem when it actually was a radio problem let's go ahead and get that radio out so the radio in this vehicle is actually behind the screen the screen is not the radio itself that where a lot of people think that the screen is the radio like it used to be on vehicles the radio is actually a module behind the screen so first thing we need to do is go ahead and take this cover off it has one little push in right here that can be a pain a lot of people break it I say one is two uh, so just be very careful pulling that bottom one loose Next, we're going to take our four 7mm bolts out. And we can pop our screen out. And like I said, your radio is behind the screen. This is your radio right here, the top one that I'm pointing at. I don't know if you can see that real well. I have a blur on here for some reason. Let's see if I can adjust that. This right here is your radio module. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. unplug right here just like that all right now that we got more light on this in the top right above the module there's a little clip that you need to lift up and the module will slide out and that's how you get your radio out once you got your old radio out we're going to take the new radio slide it in lift up on that clip push it in you hear it lock in place. Now we can go ahead and plug our connectors in. Once the radio is in place, we can go ahead and turn the car on. When you turn the car on, you should hear when you turn the car on, you should hear the chime. Now we have chime and audio, which lets us know that our radiator or our radiator, our radio was the repair. Also, now we can see our dash is working. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put our seven millimeter screws back in.
Now let's put our fascia back on, our cover for our radio system. Go ahead and put it in reverse, make sure our backup camera works. Backup camera is working. And you're done. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Now I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna ask you to like my video or subscribe to my channel. I'm the kind of guy that's going to beg you to do it. Click one of these other videos. Subscribe to my channel. It's on one of these sides. Do them both. Do them all. Please.